Hey. Hi. So I was on the road this week listening to Radio 4 as you do and uh, this lady came on. She's being interviewed by the interviewer and um, she's under investigation by her university for making um, in this discriminatory, inappropriate and abusive comments. Ask me what those comments were. What were those comments? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. Well, her comments, she was asked what her opinion was. But Okay, I want you to bear in mind what the the situation, what the um, setting was. This was in a, a debate setting, mm -hmm. okay, in the university. And she was asked what her opinion was on what constitutes a woman. Right. Okay? And her reply was, this, she, there are three main things that she said. First, she said that they have a, a menstrual cycle. And then she said that they have reproductive organs that are different to male reproductive organs. Mm -hmm. And then she said that um, males and females genetically um, have different strengths. Okay, right. Those are, the, those are the comments that were deemed to have been discriminatory, inappropriate and abusive. And she's under investigation by her university mm -hmm. where the debate was taking place yeah. as part of her degree, I assume? Well, she's doing a law degree. I'm not too sure. Well, it must have been part of the degree, but um, in the university in setting. The, in the university setting. Okay. My opinion is, if you're going to suppress people's opinions, it's it's only going to push issues below the surface. Okay. These ish, people's opinions and people's issues are always going to be there, but I think they'll be hidden, yeah. and they'll manifest themselves in other ways. Yeah. I think that people need to be able to have discussions where there are disagreements and I think people need to have um, people need to be able to air their opinions so that dis discussions can be had mm. and so that people and societies can move forward yeah whether in agreement or not yeah which is which is almost the definition of a debate isn't it I'd say so <laughs> if you are saying something that is, I don't even think it's a belief because that that is, isn't it like a proven fact that women have a menstrual cycle and they're genetically different and isn't that like, like the general definition that you give even to kids from school about the difference between men and women? So that's what I would say and like I said for this video I don't want to dive too much into that Right. because for me, for me that's black and white you me. looked at me, white. <laughs> <laughs> black I know I'm hot, yeah. White. <laughs> for me, that subject is black and white. Um, but you just, but, yeah. But for others, or I guess it's a com it's a common theme a theme now where it's not black and white. They are the people that probably have. I'd say they 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 were the first people that kind of um, started debates and wanted these things to be discussed mm -hmm. but when the opinion doesn't match what they think mm -hmm. then it's really bad and I you know it's all about being politically correct nowadays that's the term if I'm uh, in a debate or any setting right and someone would say to me um, in a respectful way or in whatever way I don't like black people then I'll be like okay I, I, I respect your right, okay, I might not respect the content of your opinion, but I respect your right to have an, an opinion. opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now if that's now if that same person the next day was to serve me was to be serving me McDonald's mm. and they turned around and said to me, I'm not gonna serve you because you're black, then we'd have a problem. Yeah. yeah. Once their opinion starts to encroach on my human rights or my quality of life, that's where there's gonna be a problem. And I think that that same model of thinking should be adapted across the board everyone's always going to have an opinion everyone's no one's going to like everybody else for whatever yeah. reason yeah. curly hair black hair black face orange face whatever the world's going to be like that but i think you think the world will get a, a, get on a lot better if people accepted that people can have opinions mm. as long as that opinion doesn't approach on somebody else's quality of life yeah. not getting a job because they're because they're black not being served because they're black D dating that's fine if someone turns around and says um i'm not going to date you because you're black i'm not going to get offended by that because that's their preference. preference yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's not it's not changing my quality of life yeah <laughs> but i'm hearing <laughs> one thing i read the other day I'm, I'm really going off today one thing i read the other day is that um you get some people trans people who are offended because someone is choosing not to date them or, or is it i think it's cis i think that's what someone who's not trans is, is 
a cis person is they're offended because a cis person chooses not to date them right. you shouldn't be offended because somebody chooses not to date you you know it's what I mean? the same as you said with the race like yeah. you're just not attracted to that race or yeah. you're not attracted to short people i don't know yeah the same as you shouldn't be offended if somebody is racist that's their problem you know let them get on with their lives you get on with your life yeah. but to go over it again once their opinions cross over with something in your path that's when you can have a problem with it yeah yeah no. and it's not it's not it's not going back to the original story you know that lady's being put through an unnecessary stress before her exams at her final year mm. when i think one of the key things is that this was all said as part of a debate mm. something that the lady said when i was listening to the interview offense is subjective mm. so what just because you say something that may be offensive to you that doesn't make it offensive to a specific person yes yeah, so yeah so like i can say oh i hate green and because you love green for some reason i get automatically offended you get offended but i didn't say anything offensive you were offended by it yeah and that i think that's the problem that's the that's um that's permeating the world today and society today it's where things that can be innocently said or even ignorantly said because someone can say something that's ignorant and they just need a little bit of education on yeah, something yeah. and that's deemed as offensive and all of a sudden they're cancelled because of that yeah that's very very true that's very true and it would probably apply very well in any situation to keep in mind that if somebody says that you know like in a work environment in a school environment that people say things that you don't have to take personally offensive and that would really help you i think in life generally very true and being around people who are so easily offended for me it's tiresome i can't it's one of the things i hate the most i want to be able to be around people and just say what i want to say so back to that McDonald's person. If he had um okay, if he had served me, but then turned around and said to me, I don't like black people, again, it's the setting. Yeah. It's the environment. In a professional yeah. environment, I don't want to hear your opinion on these things. I don't care, but I don't I don't want to hear your opinion in a professional environment. It's the arena that you're in. Yeah. Where you know you're allowed to express your opinion. Yeah. I think that is one of the most important things in society. People should be allowed to express their opinions in a setting where they're safe to do so without yeah. repercussion. As, as, as the old saying goes, there is a time and, pla and a place for everything. Definitely. So what do you guys think about this um, topic and this specific scenario? Yeah, one reason why I love YouTube is because people express their opinions in their colourful ways. So it'd be great to hear some opinions yeah. on this. Not only in our Macedonian video, you know, that has already like over 5,000 comments, <laughs> which are very similar to each other. So let's break the ice and do something different. <laughs>